All right, listen. We're gonna talk about this little guy here. This is a Muji planner and I've used it for the entire year. This is my first year not using a bullet journal and instead using a planner. So I'm gonna tell you a few of my thoughts, what worked, what didn't, and what my plans are for next year. Okay, so let's just recap a little bit about the past. I was obsessed with bullet journaling. I'm gonna insert a bunch of photos here about pages that I would do, elaborate spreads. I loved it. It was really fun for me. It was a huge hobby of my life, but I felt like it related a lot to me being in school. So whenever I was in school, I was using my bullet journal like a lot. But now that I'm out of school and I've graduated, I felt like I didn't really want to do it anymore. I feel like that part of my life was done. And I feel like a lot of people have been talking about this, that they're transitioning out of bullet journaling and more into planners. That's just how things are going in this world. But of course, if you love bullet journaling, keep on doing it. Go ahead. You do you. I'm super proud of you. But here is my planner that I used this year for 2023. It's a Muji planner and I'm very pleased with it, but I'm also gonna show you like how things went with it. It's not, if you're looking for an aesthetic planner, you're not gonna find it here. Go find one of those beautiful videos out there, but you're not gonna find it here. I'm telling you that right now. This is from Muji. I bought it on sale, like I think last December in 2022 so they're trying to like get rid of them all so they went on on sale and that's why i picked it up because it was really cheap it was only like seven dollars so i was like okay might as well I'll give this one a try you know compare it to like the what it, what do they call like the hobonichi i think is what they're called those planners like they're really expensive like of course like if you can afford to do that do it but for me i just wanted to try something to see if a planner would work for me so that's why i picked up this muji planner these stickers mine this is a friend this also i picked it up at a con somewhere but i don't exactly remember also these are a bunch of stickers i've just acquired like sometimes i find random stickers so i just put them on my journals this is a fortnite sticker i know so i'm just gonna do a flip through of this chat a little bit about some of the pages and you'll just see like how things go so this planner is great because it starts off with just giving you a bunch of empty calendar space. You can really like use it to plan out, you know, your year. And I kind of, back here, I was going to try to attempt, you know, like one little painting a day on a square. I tried it, I did it for about a month and it was cute, but it did, I was not consistent with it at all. So I did not continue with it. So there's just a lot of experimenting with this planner just to see like what I would like to do kind of merging a bullet journal with a planner because this does give still give you a lot of room to be creative and to experiment with things and so yeah just the first few pages are all just calendars to face and then here's where it kind of starts and i really do like the layout of this planner it kind of gives you an empty space here where you can be like a bullet journal and here it's kind of more detailed and laid out for you where you can you know plan out your day the one thing I was kind of, I didn't really like about this planner is that it doesn't really tell you the month. So you can constantly see I'm always writing out the month because I forget things. And I know it's super easy to just like look and see it, but I kind of like it personally just to have the month up there. So I know where I am because I get disoriented, okay? So here, you know, we start off really cute, a lot of themed pages using up a lot of my stickers because I do have a ton of stickers, a ton of stationery that I just want to use up. So yeah, we get some cute stuff. I really like having to-do lists, having space to, you know, put in quotes, have a commonplace book. And yeah, so this is like January, February, things are looking cute. Here I'm like attempting reading. So I've got a reading log going and yeah, things are just looking nice. I would always just plan things out at the beginning of the week and then I would just write, I will just fill it out as we go. So here I would kind of write the things I need to do for that day. And then also I would have usually running tasks where I would have something, the things that I need to be to do that week, I would write them down. And here I also started writing about, you know, TV shows. Cause I think that that was fun for me to do to kind of just like log the things I was watching. So at this time, The Last of Us was coming out weekly. So I was writing about that. 
And so I would find like this area here would kind of just be like a brain dump place where if things were kind of like I had things going on in the week, I need to just write them down. I put them here and then my daily tasks, my daily logs, I put them here. And that was kind of just the running thing that I was doing. Also was like implementing gratitude. Like this is so like, I feel like everyone talks about how like when you start off the year, you start off so strong and then it kind of just like falls apart at the year as the year as the month as the months go by, like as the years go by, you just fall apart. But as I was basically saying, I really enjoy this layout of this planner. The only thing that really gets me is not having the month there. So I would just write it out. But I really like just the layout of everything. Like I find that it was very fitting for what I needed to do. Like I always just had just enough space. I never felt like I needed more space or I needed less space. And everything was very fitting. Maybe like here I found sometimes I didn't have that much to write. So I would just fill it up with stickers. Or like little drawings so here we're about like april time we're still going strong things are going well and i think here's where we kind of reach like the peak moment of what i've been searching for with merging my bullet journaling and my planner is that you know i get these cute stickers that i picked up from like daiso i can use them everything's cozy everything's fun and there's just like a safe place to put all of my tasks and my thoughts all together and so yeah, I was really enjoying everything up until around April and then May comes along and that's where things start to kind of get less and less because in May I had a trip to New York and so I just wasn't using it as much. Um, I just had things like, I just needed to get things done. Simple as that. So you can see here, I'm just writing things down and I want to knock them off. Like that's what I needed. And so here's where I don't know, things just weren't going where I needed them to go. I also got a dog in around June time, so I was just busy with the dog. I did not have time to do this stuff. And you can see like I attempted, I tried, I tried to keep up with it, but it just wasn't working. But I was still very productive during this time of my life because I was writing things down and I had a place to put it and I could still knock off the things on my list. So the aesthetics kind of gone, but my productivity wasn't. So I was still getting things done, which is great. But to say like, this is Tumblr worthy, Pinterest worthy stuff now, no, but I was okay with it. So you can see here, like I was still using it, not to the extent that I was in the past, but you know, I still was getting stuff done. Okay, and honestly, that's the whole purpose of a planner. That's the whole purpose of a bullet journal is to write things down, have it there so you can remember it so you don't forget it, and then ultimately to do the tasks. Here, like we're already in September. I've kind of just, she's been forgotten. Okay, I've just forgot, I've, this thing was collecting dust. Okay, I feel bad, but she was collecting dust. Here, we're in October, I was doing a little bit of things. Like, I remember I was just blocking time out. It was really great for that, so I could remember things. Like, I knew I had Spooky Show coming up, but I didn't know the exact dates. So I always wrote it down so I could remember it. And I would always just have this, like, I was also getting ready for a market in November. So I always just had my lists. My lists is what keeps me going. It's what keeps me from not going absolutely crazy, is having my lists. So like here, I would always just write down my lists. It's just great. So like I do feel bad sometimes that I'm, I don't have these elaborate spreads anymore, but I also don't feel bad because it's like, I'm still getting things done. And I'm seeing here, it also gives you around like a month or two into 2024, which is quite nice. Yeah, so it gives you around until January 2024. So if you don't have time to go get a new one, you still have a little bit of wiggle room to still have a journal so yeah this is this is my muji planner i'm very grateful for what she gave me for her holding all of my thoughts and everything i needed with her thank you muji planner so let's just talk about my plans for next year if i could find a journal like this again that was seven dollars from muji 
I would pick it up instantly and I would use it again. No problems, uh, I would take it easily. If I do not find this option though, I am completely fine with this. Don't laugh, okay? Don't laugh. Post-it notes. I use this all the time. I put it on the side of my desk, write down my tasks, cross them off, boom, done. That's truly all I need. When it comes to like storing memories and stuff, I have my other art journals that I'm able to do that with. So it's not like I'm giving up on journaling, but I just need a space where I can write down my tasks, cross them off. That's truly all I need. And at the end of the day, if all I'm using is these post-it notes, that's fine. If I can't find this, it's not the end of the world for me. But if you have some recommendations for me for some cool journals that you like, that are really good for organization, that truly work for you, please let me know. I would love to take a look at them and consider them. But yeah, we're all just changing in our lives. We all have different needs. Sometimes I truly just need a post-it note to get my life together. I used to be a Bujo girly. I used to be all up with those elaborate pages, but now, now I just need this. Who knows where I'll be next year, but for now, I'm satisfied. Thanks for watching this video. Let me know what you think about bull journaling, planners, that whole thing. What vibes with you? What do you like to do? I'd love to hear your thoughts. Yeah, that's all I really got. Um, take care of yourselves and I'll see you in the next video.